Okay, Jason Arkanal, hopefully I'm saying that right. Let me step back a little bit. This is the engine out of your Yamaha. <clears throat> and you can see all this white crap that's all over the place. This is all corrosion. And there's quite a bit on the floor too, but it's a little bit hard to see. So that's the bottom of the engine. This is the side. This is where the exhaust manifold bolts is right here, 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 and here. This is some water uh, ports, and this is an anode for corrosion control, which obviously didn't work. And this little dude here is an exhaust. Shine a light in this hole. There's an exhaust down inside the hole. Straight, get the light right on top of it. Down inside of here, I don't know if you can see, there you go, is a hole. So that was completely clogged. This hole here, which goes and goes upwards to the cylinder head, up underneath, like right in there, like that. This is where the water is flowing up into the cylinder head, up this way, goes through the head, and comes out of that pipe right there. So this particular port right here, you can see there's quite a bit of damage on that. There's some chunks missing. We're very close to the edge. That hole that's in there that you see down inside there was completely clogged. This whole area was caked solid, keeping that cylinder from cooling. All of these had similar clogging like that one there, but they weren't completely clogged. We've corrected them all and been cleaning on it for quite a while now. So those are all cool. This, uh, this was completely clogged inside the block. We got it emptied out. This was completely clogged. And even right now, when we blow into these holes, crap is blowing out of that pipe still. So what we're gonna end up doing is, you can see all this crap that's come out. We're all covered with it. But all this white calcium, you can see it's big pieces. Let me give you an idea. This is the end of a number three flathead screwdriver, which is very large. And you can see how big some of those pieces are. And that's after we broke them up. Some big chunks like that. You know, again, you can see how big that is. And this screwdriver blade's about a half inch across. So that's what we're doing, is cleaning all this garbage out. And you can see it's just everywhere. This is our engine teardown table. And it's all over us, it's all over our hair, it's all over everywhere. We also have a oil cooler tank right here. We're not sure about it yet, we haven't checked it, but it runs through the other side, so we'll have to stand the engine up. This is the top of the engine, and the engine's laying on its side. So anyway, there's the ski. Let's pop the hood open on the ski. I got crap in my mouth. Excuse me. Pop this seat open. There we go, let's lay that aside. So as you can see, there's no engine in here. But there will be again soon. So that's some of the new exhaust system right there. The water, don't worry about that. We'll drain all that out. But anyway, I just want to show you that the engine has been removed from the ski. <clears throat> and that's it over there on the bench. So it's only taken about an hour to clean these holes out. But we're going to take it over to the water hose on this table. And we're going to run some water through it and make sure everything's flowing and really wash it some more. Because the more we blow on it, the more crap keeps coming out. Uh, you can see the starter is looking like it's seen better days. Not a bad time to put a new starter, but you don't want to, I understand. And anyway, that's just an update for you.